Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take some points and find a quadratic regression to fit the points. So, let's get started. First off, we need to go to our stat. So press the stat button in the middle there. And we're going to need this first entry, edit right there. So you just want to press enter as soon as you press stat. So stat, then enter. And this is going to take you to some lists. List 1 is typically your x value, while list 2 is your y value. So whatever data you have, you want to type that in here. I'm going to go ahead and type in some data that uh, I just made up. And 5, whoops. Let's see here. 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 3, 8. All right. One thing that's very important, you guys, is to make sure that both of these points at the bottom end at the same place. If one list is longer than the other, you'll get an error when you try to do some of this later. So, next thing we're going to do to find a regression is we're going to... Actually, let's look at the equation first. I want you to press second and then y equals, okay? If you press second and then y equals, that's going to turn you to the plot uh, turn on the plots, and we'll just choose the first plot. You can press enter. And when you get there, you get this kind of funny plot menu. These are lots of different options. We want to leave everything the same except for we want to turn it on. So I'm going to press the enter button, and you notice how it went from off to on. And another place you can see this is if you press y equals there, you notice how we just turned that first plot on up there. To turn it off from this menu, you can just go up and press enter and see how it's now off. So it's important when you're not using the plots to leave them all off, but we want to turn that one on. And I'm now going to press graph. And when I press graph, notice I have something that looks kind of like a parabola. So I want to see, well, what is the equation for that parabola? To get that, or, the, or sorry, there isn't a perfect equation, but the equation that best fits that parabola. To do that, I'm going to press stat. So let's go to stat, and I want to calculate a parabola. So I want to press right on the arrow one, and now I have a whole list of different stats and regressions. The parabola is a quadratic regression line, so that is the fifth entry. So I want to go down to quadratic regression, because it looks like a quadratic, and I'm going to press enter. You can also just press the number five. Here, I do want to use these lists, L1 and L2, and I don't really care about this other stuff, so I'm going to simply come down here and calculate. So enter, 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 enter. And it calculates for me, and it gives me the parabola in standard form. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. Now suppose I want to type that into Y equals very quickly. I'll show you guys a little trick here. Next time you go, uh, if you type, do this regression, so I'm going to press uh, stat again. And I'm going to go over right one to calculate. And then I'm going to go down to quadratic regression again. So I'm doing all the same steps. You notice that this menu right here, it says store the regression equation. We can actually tell it to store that into one of the y equals. So I'm going to go down here, and when I'm right in front of store regression equation, I'm going to press the variables. See vars right there? Variables, because I want to go get a y variable. The y variables are to the right, so you press right one, and it is a function, so I'm just going to press enter. And now you notice I have all these, the y1, y2, y3, and I can just press enter, oops, enter right there to select y1, and it's going to store my regression equation into the y1. Now if I press enter, enter, it seems like nothing is different, but if I go to y equals up here, look what happened. My regression equation, the big, ugly, every single little decimal, is right here. See the x squared times something times x plus that thing. And if I go to graph it now, if I press graph, then it will draw that regression equation and I can see how close it is. Thank you very much for watching.